NASA's deputy social media manager. So part of my job is to oversee uh, 480 different accounts with my colleague, um, who also is, uh, is the social media manager here, and that's across nine different platforms. Um, the other part of what we do is we also advise our leadership and, and provide strategy and things like that for how NASA communicates with everybody and, and how we find new audiences and, and things like that. How important has social media become as far as it being part of NASA's communication strategy? As far as social media goes, you know, we're really trying to reach out directly to the public and, and allow um, a lot of our experts, a lot of our missions and things like that to present their news and their information and the content that we have uh, directly to members of the public without having to go through the filter of, uh, of the news media and things this like that, um, but also to get it in real time as mission operations are happening, as new discoveries are being found, as you know research gets announced and things like that. So it, it is really a, a great tool for us to use to communicate communicate with, with several million followers now across all of our different accounts. You know, here on the ground, we always look up and we view space as a looking out kind of mechanism. Well, from the unique vantage point of being on orbit with uh, the International Space Station, you're able to look down and that, that kind of orbital perspective where you look back on the world and, and see what's happening down here on the planet. And it's, it's fascinating to see that. It's fascinating how the astronauts share that with everybody. What did you think of how Commander Chris Hadfield was using social media in space recently, including his cover song of Space Oddity? You know, we've had astronauts who've been tweeting out pictures, who've been posting video clips of what they're flying over, what they're seeing, things like that. But he took it to a whole new level, and, and, and it's absolutely awe-inspiring what he did. He really engaged with a lot of the public uh, to share the experience of what it's like to fly in space. Oh, I've flown 100,000 miles. But it, it, it's a long line of, of astronauts who've, who've done that. And even to this day, just recently, we had uh, two astronauts launched to the space station who are both on Twitter, uh, Karen Nyberg, at Astro Karen N, and uh, at, Luca, or at Astro underscore Luca, Luca Parmitano from uh, the European Space Agency. And uh, both of those guys are going to continue to promote what they're seeing, what they're, what they're flying over, um, and all the other uh, experiments they're working on on the space station, all the science work that's being done, and everything that's happening in the floating laboratory up there. And so, you know, being able to, to connect with the public in a way that really energizes them about space and space exploration is one of the, the major things that, ha that Commander Hadfield really did and, and is quite impressive. And, you know, our hats are off to our Canadian colleagues who, uh, who managed to pull that one off. When you're overseeing all of these different social media accounts, you mentioned you oversee almost 500 different accounts. How do you manage that? We have uh, uh, two social media managers um, here at NASA headquarters, and then we have 10 NASA field centers located from coast to coast here in the United States. Uh, and each of those has a lead who then works with all the different social media account managers that are out there. Each of those account managers, though, uh, for the most part, has a regular day job. They're scientists, they're engineers, they're technicians. They're working on mission work. They're doing research, um, you know, and they're they're really involved in the subject area that they're overseeing and that they're posting about on social media. So what you're actually seeing is is a very authentic representation of what's actually happening across all these different accounts. It always is a good thing at the end of the day to to make sure that you're ready to have that two-way dialogue. Lots of times on social media, one of the biggest mistakes that I see is that people post a lot of stuff, but don't really reply back to people. Don't respond to comments that are left on it. And so by being able to engage in that two-way dialogue, you can build that bond with your customer base, with the community of people that follow you on social media. And I think that that's really a way to future-proof yourself against whatever changes may be coming down the road.